Hi YouTube, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to change the Ambernick Win 600's RAM and memory. Now, for this, you of course need your RAM, um, the M.2 SSD, you know, the uh, SATA Strive 2442. And of course, you can get whatever kind of RAM, but I got the 16 gig, because the highest you can go is a 16 gig by 3200 RAM. Uh, megahertz and um yeah so i got the crucial kind i'm gonna take it off and put everything in and we'll go from there if you're new to the channel subscribe uh leave a comment share like the video and we'll go from there now i had recorded a video earlier well trying to record a video earlier of how the process to take the screws and all that out um i really had a bad time with this back screw back here so i had to start all over i wasn't gonna just leave that video intact and all that so we just gonna skip all that main thing is be careful when you open this device because especially when you're not used to open up these small kind of devices with small screws be careful because i it took me at least 30 minutes to get this one screw out all the rest of the screws came out fine i had um Bought the iFixit toolkit from, you can go to Best Buy or you can go to, uh, you can go online to Amazon or whatever and get one. It's a good kit now, don't get me wrong. This is a very good kit, good brand. There's nothing wrong with this brand. You just be careful with what you're doing when you're doing these screws. Um, the screws, they say is a T6 screw. I do have the T6 screw right here, but like I guess for the first three screws, it was no problem. That last screw gave me all the, all the, all the drama in the world. We're just gonna say that. Um, once I got the screws out, I used the little pick that they give you inside the, inside the box. Use the pick, pry out everything open, and boom, there you go. Now, everything is taken off. This is the back of the case. They got the copper in the back of it. And we're just gonna change the RAM and the memory. And as you can see, like they say, your battery, um, you have your battery, your buttons at the top, your fan. Now they do say it's good to go ahead and take your fan out and change the thermal paste on the bottom of it. But because just for me having a bad time with that screw, I'm just gonna refuse to worry about doing that. I'm just gonna hit manually change this RAM right here and this Glowy 25060. All right, so for the main part now, since I didn't got past the traveling part, Let's get the right tool for the right job to do the job we're gonna do. So, they do tell you to unplug the battery, but, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna go with what we got. So, let's get the SSD out the way so we can go ahead and see how easy it freed itself. No problem, no issues. Just pull it out. No problem. Now, this is the 256. When you get stuff like this, save them. I mean, you might not never know, you might need to use it for something else, or you might end up going back to it. But for now, I'm gonna put it to the side, throw that over. I got the 512, you can go up to a one terabyte. Um, the new Ambernick device that's coming out now is a 16 gigabyte by one terabyte SSD. Uh, so it basically have everything for you. Huh, that's cool, it came with a little screwdriver, so that's cool. So either way, it, it helped it way. Um, and it comes with its own screw as well. So that's that's very cool. Uh, that's cool, I didn't know that it came with that. In the description when I bought it, it did show that. But here it is, the 512, the SATA 2242, two, two, I'm sorry. And we're gonna put that right back in the same spot that that one came from. if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let's see, is it the top one or the bottom one? I think it's the top one. Let's see if we can get it back in there. Never, never worked on these kind of devices, so it's new to me. All right, so we got it sitting in there. And I'm gonna use the screw that it came with instead of the screw, you know, this screw is the same probably. Well, probably the same, but if not, I can always go back and put the other screw back in. It's not going to be a big issue. It's probably going to be better to use the screw that the system came with over the screw that they give you. Uh, 
in the way it's looking. Yeah, we'll have to use day screw. So let's just use day screw. We on the safe side. It's, it's not gonna hurt. Plus, this has a magnet in it. It's easier to put in and put out and all that. Yeah. All right. So that I mean that's just that easy. So use the screw that comes with the uh, Win 600 because. It just it, it's, it's a smaller screw than the one that they came with, but this this still does work in the system. It's the same thing. It's still a S this is the M.2 SATA drive. Remember SATA, not NVMe SATA. You gotta get the SATA one. All right, and now for the RAM, we take the warning stick off. It's just showing, telling you, you know, um, that it, that you're doing this on your own. If I can focus the camera in a little bit. Just a little bit, if I can even get it. Let's see. I'm trying, but the camera is not trying to read it. Ah, whatever. It, I'm not gonna hold it longer. If it, it's just warning, telling you, you know, before you put the SSD, shut down the system, remove the battery. The battery is never moved. It can burn the PCBA board. That's that's all it's saying. Now I haven't even turned the system on. I had it for a week. I haven't turned it on because I was waiting on my memories and stuff and all that and getting the right tools to do the right job so i'm not gonna um have to worry about unplugging the battery so for right now we're just gonna take this one out set this one this is the 16 gigabyte ddr4 3200 ram set it to the side while i work on trying to get this this is not that hard you just use your fingernails as they show the other people video Let's just use a fingernail and it comes out like that. Same way, no hard, no problem. Like I said, it's a glory round. You can use it for something later. Keep it. You never throw your SSDs away. Just keep the stuff. Never know what you might need it for later. All right, we're going to plug that one in. I got to get it all the way in and there you go. Click in. No problem. Everything should be secure. Now, like I said, if you want to catch, see how to do this, all you have to do is, like I said, turn the, take the fan screws out. You got three screws at the top. These small black ones. Take the small two screws right here. Then you should be able to lift it up and take the other screws out. And then whenever you get a chance, get some thermal paste with the thermal paste on it. And boom. I might go make a video later on. Um, there is other people that you can look up. Uh, win 600 on YouTube that they have done it so I'm not gonna just try to waste not too much of your time so but everything's in place put in the batteries in place so let's just put the SS to put the back back on and you go from there all right and that is how you replace your SSD quick to the point no issue oh uh, make sure you also before you put the back back on make sure you put all your pieces back in because the top this comes out I gotta put the other piece back in but anyway other than that, that's about it. You know, a little humor for you right quick because I, I have got to do that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, other than that, that's about it. It's just, it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. I mean, self-explanatory. I mean, even a little child could do this. No problem. If any, but, but, you know, I see I forgot how to put my R2 back in. I can't really talk, can I? Mm, let's see if I can pry this part back open. Prying this open was not that fun as, I, as other people make it look. I mean, it made it look like it was easy, super easy. It is easy, but it's not. I'm not even going to sit there and lie to you. It's not that easy. It's not as easy as they made it look. All right, so now that's back in this position. Now I can put the case back on. But if you enjoyed the little video, sh share it. With your friends, like the video, subscribe. I will be um, having it turned on and everything so I can see what's going on with it. Go through the bios, do the same thing that everybody else done, like Retro Game Corps and ETA Prime and anybody else that made a video. Um, but once I get past that point, whatever games that people want to see tested on that hadn't been already tested on it, that's what I will be doing that will show a little difference from other videos. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.